Hi, at the end of August, I have 31 products to use up for the rest of this year to meet my project plan target of 150 products used up this year. Makeup first, this is from Pixie. It is the fresh face brush. And as you can see, that is the situation. So it did break uh, towards the end and there's just a bit of powder there, but I have hit pan. Will I repurchase? No. Um, I have too many other blushes to use up, so and, and I wasn't too huge a fan of this one. I feel that the glow cakes were nicer. Perfume, I managed to finish a whole Burberry Brit EDT. Will I repurchase? No, I prefer EDP to EDT. This one was all right, you know, to uh, refresh during the day. Now we move on to skincare cleanser first. The face drop, rice water bright light cleansing oil. Will I repurchase? Now this has become my absolute favorite cleansing oil because I have very oily and acne prone skin. So this is incredibly lightweight, incredibly effective at removing makeup, in incredibly emulsifying and does not clog pores or leave me greasy or leave any residue whatsoever. Plus it's dirt cheap. Um, I would have liked to repurchase the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm, but you know, first of all, that is a lot pricier. Secondly, um, I feel that that's a lot heavier for very oily acne prone skin. Second cleanse, the Ren Ever Calm Cleansing Gel, Gentle Cleansing Gel. Now this is amazing if you're undergone some kind of procedure, micro needling or, you know, tretinoin or something, and you want a very gentle cleanser without any acid that's uh, not going to burn your skin or make you feel sore. Beautiful product. Will I repurchase already? Have Space MKR having had 15 pounds off your purchase of 60 quid recently, and this is what I bought. I'm not sure if that offer is still around. Do check that out in uh, the link in the description box below. Uh, toner, Pyong Kang Yul Acne Toner. Wonderful. The Pyong Kang Yul Essence Toner and the Mist Toner get a lot of love. For some reason, the Acne Toner doesn't. Now, what I did was I decanted this into a spray bottle and I hadn't used it as a spritz. Uh, particularly, you know, where I had acne and it helped flatten them very, very, very quickly. Beautiful product, will I repurchase all you have? Vitamin C, C20 serum. I bought too many of this uh, when I was too enthusiastic. And then I found eventually over time this wasn't what I wanted. It was too harsh, it caused acne. And uh, therefore, you know, just stop buying this and I've been using up whatever I have. I won't be repurchasing this. I've moved to other vitamin C products. Serum. This is from Skin Chemist, the 24 hour aqua repair facial serum. Now, in my opinion, this was more of a gel than a serum as such. It was thick. It came in a look fantastic beauty box. Will I repurchase? I liked it. Very hydrating, oil free product. Nice, especially on tretinoin days, but it's not a serum. That's the point. It's not a serum. It's a nice facial gel. Face cream. This is from La Maison du Savon de Marseille. I'm pretty sure that I'm butchering the pronunciation. And this is the facial cream with organic rose hip and prickly pear. I'll tell you how I went into this shop. I was in Brussels. Uh, I was drinking hot chocolate. And then there was the smell that wafted over to me, that overpowered the smell of the hot chocolate that I was drinking. And I followed my nose, followed the sense of smell to this shop, this amazing shop, which contained a fabulous array of soaps. And I bought ever so many things. And then the lady recommended this cream to me. It was a beautiful, amazing smelling, occluding cream. Ideal if you're tretinoining, if retinoling, ideal in the winter months, ideal in dry weather, ideal if your skin is flaky, ideal if you want quick healing. Beautiful product. Will I repurchase? Biggest reason, I haven't uh, been able to go back there and find the shop. They're probably available online, but that's a bad idea to check because, you know, the soaps are so good that if I do find the store online, I'll end up spending a lot of money, which I cannot afford right now during Advent calendar season. One Face Mask, or moreover, it's a deep cleansing mask. An amazing product. This and the Walmart mask are uh, two fabulous mark, clay masks from Omar Robinson. The problem is that if you leave the cap not extremely tightly closed, it's going to dry up. These have draw out the gook, the gunk, the whatever you want to call it, the pus, the, the liquid, the fluid from open acne. Beautiful stuff. Lotion, natural BHA return, skin returning emulsion from Cosrx. Again, ideal lightweight 
uh, lotion beneath cream that you can apply containing salicylic acid if you have acne or if you are oily skinned. Eye cream number seven, protect and perfect eye cream. This wasn't as I expected. It was too drying, I feel. It wasn't, I mean, I like my eye creams to look heavy, moist, and you know, wet rather than, or, or oily or greasy rather than drying, rather than sinking in too fast. So there I had problems with this one. So I won't be repurchasing that. One hand cream, farmhouse fresh coconut cream, shea butter and cream. Smells so, 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 so lovely. Will I repurchase? Not immediately. I have too many hand creams to get through. This came in a kind of beauty box. And um, I think that it helped improve my uh, hand moisture, the moisture levels in my hands. Char gel, bloom and blossom, bath and char gel. Also came in a look fantastic beauty box. Decent, wasn't anything too special. Will I repurchase? No, for two reasons. First of all, my absolute favorite char gels are from Milton Brown. Secondly, I'm moving away from char gels towards bar soaps. For environmental reasons. I mean, it isn't much I know, I have other empties as well, but you know, it's a start. Little drops of water, etc. And whatever I do is not going to counter what, you know, big corporations are doing anyway, but you know, little drops of water is the least I can do. Stop using charger. <laughs> um, one foot cream, Innisfree Perfect Fresh Foot Cream. Not special, not amazing. I prefer Soap and Glory Heel Genius, particularly in dry weather when my heels are all reptilian and cracked. Don't be repurchasing. Finally, hair product. Yes to cucumbers. Normal to fine hair voluminizing conditioner. Um, I feel that more than a heavy conditioner, this was a lightweight, uh, co-wash friendly conditioner. And I ended up using it as a co-wash, ultimately, instead of as a conditioner or as such post shampoo conditioner. So will I repurchase? I already have, but in a couple of other fragrances. Um, and I, after using those up, I'll probably repurchase. So 15 products finished up this month. That leaves me with exactly 16 products to get through in October, November and December. Will I get there? Stay tuned to find out. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell and I will speak to you soon.